power to lay it down, power to take it up again. The command I received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Yesterday, Sunday, we celebrated Good Shepherd Sunday, an image in the ancient world that would have been very dear, would have been very appropriate for that rural shepherding area of Palestine in the days of Jesus. In the Gospel of John, John utilized these very common, if you will, images in the ancient world to really speak to the to the listeners and to even speak to us however the most important phrase in the description is not the actual image that john is trying to convey but it's two simple words i am i am that simple phrase, those two little words, a letter in a word maybe, really denotes, really sets forth. And we know that it brings and attributes the divinity to something, namely to that image, that the divine has entered or is that image, or, or can be seen or revealed through that image. I am is, it notes a sense of mystery in the presence of God. So I am the Good Shepherd. That means that Jesus, that the Lord, that God, that image of the Good Shepherd, can reveal something of the very nature of who Jesus, who God is for us. So that phrase is so important, I am, and you hear it countless numbers of times in the Gospel of John. What I think is so beautiful about John is that he uses images from everyday life. We hear that I am bread. I am light, I am a shepherd, I am a vine. This truly tells us that the divine, that this Jesus can be encountered in our everyday life. If only we would see, if only we would lift our eyes to the beauty and the wonder of the I am that surrounds our life and our everyday life. So this is really Jesus saying, I am day to day, everyday life. As a child, I was prone, especially as a little kid, to often look down at my feet as I walked. And my grandfather would kind of scold me and tell me to look up. You're missing everything. You're missing out. And I would look up and I thought, oh, I've seen these mountains before. I've seen that lake before. I've seen that street. I've seen my home before. But I think what my grandfather was trying to get me to do is indeed to encounter the grace, the divine, in the everydayness. So I invite you today maybe to, to begin seeing seeing this divine encounter happening in your everyday life as you take a walk. Maybe as you look at that loved one who you've seen day in and day out. And encounter the Lord Jesus. Encounter the God who is I am day after day, the God of every day. 